The first drill we're going to do today is we're going to work on Drew with a tennis ball. I personally think this is more advanced than the balloon dribble uh, just because this ball, uh, especially a tennis ball, will go up very quickly and come down where a balloon will kind of float a little bit. So this will, you know, like I've told him, you drop the ball, you go pick it up, come back, and, and we'll keep going with the drill. So the first one he's going to do is you're just going to toss it up and come back down with it. Go ahead, Drew. Again, just tossing it up, switching hands. We won't do both hands right now, but okay. Next one is he's going to do what I call the scoop. He's going to throw it up and kind of scoop it down. Yep, just like that. Go ahead, Drew. Notice he's down in that good defensive position. His legs could be a little bit farther apart. Nice. Okay, stop. Next one is going to be crossover, just a regular crossover. Yep, go ahead. So throwing it up, but again, that happens. <laughs> it's hard, you know, Drew's done this a bunch. It's hard because the ball will, it comes down quickly. And what I, why I like it is it really forces them to keep their head up. Um, all right, stop. Next one is double crossover. Now he's gonna have to throw it a little bit higher so the ball, tennis ball might actually go out of the, the frame of the camera here, but he's gonna throw it up a little bit higher, double crossover. So every move we're showing you, you can do a double of. Go back and then come back across. Go ahead, Drew. Good. And that was there, he just didn't catch it. So again, what it's doing is it's forcing him to get his head up. Notice, you're not gonna dribble looking up at the, at the moon. One more time. Um, but it is forcing him not to look at the ball. Uh, so when he gets better at it, it won't have to go as high. What I tell my guys too is, a big part of this is, um, you know, and the ball bounces off, he jumps back and, and keeps running the drill. Um, you can always make it harder on yourself. You know, you can use a medicine ball. You, all right, Drew, stop. You can always make a drill more difficult. Um, even those really basic ones, you can make more difficult. Okay, next one we're gonna do is single between the legs. Go ahead, Drew. We won't do double just because we're kind of constrained on time here. Um, go ahead, Drew, keep going. So, you could do double between the legs just like you do double, uh, just like you do double uh, crossover, double behind the back. One more, Drew. Let's end on a good one. Good, stop. So that's a way of, you know, again, between the legs. Will you ever put your legs that far apart in a game? Probably not. But what's good about it is, you know, yeah, you're not gonna do that during a game. But it's forcing them to keep their head up and push the ball between their legs. <clears throat> Next one that we're gonna do is what we call behind the back. I think this is the most difficult one. You know, this is one Drew's just kind of starting to work on. Uh, you know, if you mess up, you just pick the tennis ball back up and you start over. Uh, he won't be doing the double behind the back, but if you do do that drill, just make sure you're really low, almost like you're sitting on a chair, double behind the back and catch the tennis ball. Go ahead, Drew. Let's give it a shot. Good. And again, it's keeping, forcing him to keep his head up. You know, they, he's on, he just turned onto a big ball. Catching it with that weak hand is difficult. Good. All right, stop. So again, that's a hard one. Um, that would be the last one in the progression I would work on. You know, and if they get good at regular behind the back, then I'd work at double behind the back.